Hey guys, what's going on? This is Nasa, aka the real estate guru. I'm not your guru, I'm your guru because I actually do this business. And today I just want to talk about the Donald Trump uh, scandal, the fraud, the Trump University fraud, whatever you may call it. Well, apparently, and you can find the article in the description box, uh, apparently from what I read is that Trump University has a, a mentoring and coaching program like a lot of these uh, national gurus and a lot of real estate professionals do who are good at their craft. And he charges people um, for his course. They, uh, I guess they, the packages start at $1,500 to $35,000. And from the $35,000 package, you get a, a hand-picked uh, coach that uh, Trump supposedly hand-picks and um, you get one-on-one -on -one help, um, whatever the case may be, uh, for the uh, from the Trump University to become a successful real estate investor. And okay, so the package is between fifteen hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars. And apparently, the state of New York has been getting countless uh, complaints about the uh, Trump uh, University, uh, pa uh, the Trump University uh, curriculum. And it's just not working. People who are paying $35,000 are saying that, hey, I paid $35,000 and Donald Trump himself never showed up. I never met him. Um, I got to take a picture of a life-size uh, poster of Donald Trump, um, some type of life-size um, life model of Donald Trump. And... Um, so, you know, people are upset, uh, upset, I'm sorry, stumbling on my words, and also people are saying that the customer service that they're getting is just not good, um, they're not canceling things in time. Now, let me say this, um, I wholeheartedly agree that Donald Trump is a douchebag, you know, I, I don't agree with the majority of the stuff he says. I'm not a fan of his. Yes, he's. A, I'm not a fan of him as a person. Yes, he's a successful business person, uh, whatever the case may be. Now, as far as these complaints, I don't think Donald Trump uh, is should be held at fault for all these people not being successful. Your success depends on you. Okay, Donald Trump sold these people packages, sold them, uh, cross-sell them, and sold them culture and mentoring packages. I still ultimately believe that the success depends on the student. Was these packages overpriced? My personal opinion, I do think that the packages were overpriced. Um, $35,000 for one-on-one -on -one coaching and... None of these, none of your clients get to meet you or take a picture with you. At least, um, you can do. Um, yeah, I think that that is overpriced. I would say this though: a lot of those people are getting caught up in the Trump name, and and under the impression that if they write a check, that will equal their success. I don't think that's Trump's fault. I think that's actually those people's fault who really think that you can become successful by having a large bank account. You can become successful by increasing your credit card limit on your credit card. You can become successful by um, buying any type of Donald Trump product. I don't think that's Donald Trump's fault. And like I said, I'm not a Donald Trump fan. Um, yes, he's a successful business person, but as you see, the, the things that he's been doing in the last three to four years basically shows that he's just definitely a big douchebag that wears a possum on top of his head. Now, but like I said, back to this particular fraud, the state of New York is actually suing him. I believe they're going after uh, $40 million or so for reimbursement of all the complaints of the people who complained to um, get them their money back. But... Like I said, I really don't think that it's Trump's fault that these people are not successful. Trump did not put a gun to anyone's head and say, buy my products. These people willingly um, bought these products. They 
uh, Trump did. I mean, maybe his organization of the people, they played on some emotions, got these people to raise their credit card limit. But, I mean, look at the commercials that come on TV. Uh, for example, uh, if you notice, a lot of beer commercials have sexy women to give the impression that um, drinking is drinking will get you these sexy women. Um, um, a, a lot of a lot of people do that. Um, you know, um, Nike commercials. I, when I was a kid, I was under the impression that Nikes and Jordans would make me jump higher, would make me run faster. They gave me that impression. But who fought was that ultimately? I mean, of course, um, you know, did I buy those shoes? Or well, my parents bought those shoes though. But you know, it's not Nike's fault for these people. Uh, for these people actions it's like just like it's not Donald Trump's fault for these people buying these products I mean regardless of what if you buy a real estate product um, and you don't um, implement you won't get success as simple as that you have to implement it's not going to happen on the first the second the third time all the time I mean yes it's sometimes it do but majority of the time it just does not but that's not the person selling the course's fault. Now, somebody um, wanting to uh, paying thirty five thousand dollars for coaching and mentoring. I mean, maybe uh, we need to evaluate that person. Did that person seek out other options? Did that person um, go into their backyard and look for a local real estate mentor? Did that p person look for somebody more affordable? Um, or did that person think, hey, I'm going to write uh, Trump this $35,000 check, and next thing you know, I'm going to hire a tower that says uh, Ben Johnson's Plaza. I mean, who fault is that really? But, you know, that's just my opinion on it. And like I said, Donald, to me, a really big douchebag guy. Um, he showed his true colors in the last uh, three of, uh, well, last eight years or so. I mean, the, the public... Um, rants he's been going on I mean I'm no I'm not a fan of his I actually gave away all my Trump products due to his actions in recent um, in the last uh, in the recent few years um, but with that being said in this particular scandal or fraud I really don't think Trump is the one at fault your success depends on you it doesn't depend on the person you're paying. The person that you're paying or the course that you're buying, yes, they're going to give you the information, but you have to implement it. You have to take massive action. You have to go after this stuff as your life depending on it. You know, just a reminder, it took me uh, eight months to close on my first deal. I started in February and closed my first uh, real estate transaction in November. And just to let you know, between January and November, every Saturday morning, I would get up I would work the Monday through Friday, but every Saturday morning I would get up in farm neighborhoods and mail those owners until I find the deal because I was determined and this thing had to work. But like I said, make sure you subscribe to the channel. As always, I'm Nasa, aka the Real Estate Guru. I'm not a guru, I'm a guru because I actually do this business. Thanks for um, you know uh, watching, and if you have anything to say, please leave your comments. Um, in my uh, in the comment boxes below, and let me know what you think. I mean, who fought is it? Is it the D's fault, or is it these people fault that they did not take massive action, and that they were under the assumption that they can write a check and become successful? Life doesn't work like that. The only way, the only place that success becomes before work is the dictionary. Signing off, guys.